Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good evening. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are from Ratus Across. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hope you're well. Yes. Good. So we're giggling because Jay did something stupid and I tried to hit the um, live button before <laughs> quicker <laughs> whilst he was doing something silly. So, um, so yes, yeah, so let's see whether or not we are live and I'll just hold on a few seconds for people to Yes, come um, in. when you pop in, say hi so we know who's there and where you're from, how you doing, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Um, so if you're new to the channel or the page, we are uh, Meetups of Crafts, independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you do live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop at mitosocrafts.com. Don't forget to like our page, uh, like our <laughs> video, and subscribe to the channel. Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> so we thought this evening we'll be doing some spring floral projects because it's nice and sunny out there and the uh, projects that we've been creating recently is something to do with nature with the mountain air and Barry's got a casually crafting blog hop coming up on Friday Friday yes eight o'clock Friday morning so there's um be sure to check that out like I say yeah so that's nature um if I just given that away I well I've kind of like said it already <laughs> Um, Nature theme blog hop, so check out, see what I've done and what all of the other ladies mm. have done as well. So yeah, Friday, 8 o'clock, um, check that out. So we're kind of following on with that theme And we're today. quite floral, guys. We are very floral, aren't we? Yeah, we do like our flowers. I yes. think they're just easy to use flowers. Yes, and on Tuesday's uh, blog post for the Spot Creative Challenge, I created this with a bit of uh, colouring. Uh, with stamping blends, mackerel, 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 <laughs> petal pink, um, stamping blends, alcohol marker there, with a hint of I didn't. If you haven't seen this card yet, um, the shading is actually by um, was done by a pencil. Mm -hmm. uh, so I used that card as an inspiration for tonight's uh, creative. Uh, share video so I'll crack on first remember what Barry said last time <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm I'm still in the process of trying to make my one Um, I've got a bit of a mental color block so um, you may get one you may not get one we'll see what happens so yes yes right. um, yes Anything else? yeah nope that is nope. it yeah say hi hi Sandra thanks for um, watching let's flip you around and we'll go from there. So that's that. Where's the beginning? That's it. That. Close your eyes. Yeah, sorry, just getting the cut seeing how far off the table. There we go. It's good. Hi, Jana. Well, where are you going? I'm going this way. So okay. you go, you can put the tablet in front Hello. so you can see the comments hopefully pop up. Oh, thank you. Um, I think I might just turn them off again. Yeah. So as I said, I'll be using this card um, as inspiration. And I used the Good Morning Magnolia bundle for this one. So it's actually a really lovely set. Um, you have three images, well, four with that design. And then the rest are sentiments. And yes, it's just line drawings of magnolias which is great for coloring so you can use your uh, blends aqua painters um, coloring pencil which i'll be doing today um, so watercolor pencil um, this comes with 13 colors including the white so i'll be actually doing my stamping on gray granite card um, can i just zoom in because you you're showing you're ruining the illusion, Barry. Look, you got grey, grey, oh, and then... Oh, me to sort yeah. it out, because if, I, if he sorts it out, then we're going to... Um... There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah if, Jay, if Jay sorts it out, we all end up losing the feed. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Our lovely table. <laughs> <laughs> Fake table. 
I don't know why I did that. It's actually fake. Yeah. Um, so yes, so I'll be doing that. Um, mine's gonna be quite simple, but it'll be the coloring that might take a while. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'd, you'd like to see some coloring. Some um, coloring. So I've got the huge um, Magnolia stamp and this is on F block or you can use your stamparatus as well. Something pinged. Oh, what's that from your phone? I see. So, I don't know. Uh, because it's a huge stamp, I'm just putting my ink pad on it instead of the other way around so I know that that's completely covered and I'm just gonna stamp diagonally like so so I stamped in grey granite as well so tone on tone hi Carol thank you for joining us and now we have our colors. So the, so the <clears throat> excuse me. So the watercolor pencils, obviously you uh, you can use water to spread the color out, but I'm gonna use it again the same as I did with the Fable Friends Rabbit. I'm just gonna use it as a pencil to color with. I've actually been trying to do this. So this is my prototype. Uh, this is using the white, Whisper White pencil. It does take a while, so I think I'm gonna just do the highlights. But that is just basically going over the, the petals and following the lines from where it... Kind of like following the lines of the stamp image. So if it goes, the petal goes like that, I just went like that. If the petal goes like that so I'm just following those lines so um, that's what it will look like and I actually did a uh, basic gray as well just to darken around the flower to make that pop even more and then added calypso coral in the middle I wasn't too happy with that it looked quite it, it was too dark for my liking um, so I'm just gonna quickly sharpen my pencil. Oh, excuse me. How is everyone? Here we go. Mm. What do you think? Shall I do the whole thing or just a little bit? I'll do I'll do a little bit and then we'll see how it looks. So if I just do the tips instead of the whole thing. Um, so again, because normally magnolias have lighter tips in the petals, I, I believe. <laughs> so you can either just do flicking short strokes or you can do back and forth so, so obviously just make it easier for you by rotating your work however you want or whatever is comfortable for you Has anyone recently used their coloring pencil? Have you got it? Do you like it? We've kind of like neglected the watercolor pencil for a while. Well, I have definitely. You, um, you've used some of it. I've, I've used it recently for the uh, Creating Kindness blog haul. But, um, once the blends came out, it's like, ooh, alcohol markers. It is easier to color with the blends, but now we do have more time in our hands, um, in our day. Why not take some time coloring 
whilst you're watching TV, whilst you're, um, I don't know, listening to music, I guess. I tend to normally have the TV in the background, but I don't actually watch it. It's just for background noise. Listen, we, we come up with we're listeners, aren't we, really? Quite good at watching TV and crafting. Hi, Vicky. From snowy Ontario, Canada. Ooh. Which is snowy here? Is it really snowy? Ooh, I've done that. How deep are the snow? I think I've seen some pictures, but I don't know if it was from Canada. So yeah, I'm just doing the tips lightly first, and then when you decide where you want the really light or like brightest white add a bit more pressure you can also use my favorite marker ever the chalk marker but because it's wet it tends to leave a kind of like a mark so i used it there but if you like the stroke marks then uh use that and make it look a bit like a painting, I guess. So that's done, that's done. We'll do it this way. And then this one. And there. Yes and cold. Oh, that's what I don't like. I've got very one. <laughs> And it's what's what's the um thing here? It's not cold. No, it's not cold. It's cold when you move. <laughs> Sorry, that's like an in joke. Because we always say, Oh, it's cold, it's because you moved. How's that looking? So just by adding highlights in certain areas, you're already kind of like making those areas pop and stand out of your card. go nearly done and then i'll move on to the basic gray so the original card um this one as i mentioned was for the spot creative challenge and the challenge is color combination using petal pink and gray granite as your two colors and then incorporating a hint of metallic in there so i use gold foil um just a tiny hint <laughs> but obviously you can uh, use as much as you want and this one was actually colored in the petal pink the dark petal pink blends as well and it created that um what's that called champagne rhinestone look as well so always great to use blends with your um rhinestone as well check out the blog post as well as the challenge um, and enter yourself if you do have the time but why not or check out the other inspirations by the design team as well we have some fabulous talented design team including myself if i must no I'm kidding <laughs> i'm joking that is not <laughs> Mine's the best. No, okay. No, honestly, I'm not. I'm not. Um, you should see the the rest of the design teams. I was just like, oh, my my card looks like compared to those. <laughs> just like, oh, I need to step up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe next week. I was just like, I don't know what to do. Sorry, I'm just get. I'm just getting carried away. I'm just like la la la, and by by the time you, I finish, I'll probably color. The whole, all of it. Hi, Steffi. Hi, Kim. 
Hopefully everyone's okay. Right, I think that's done. Okay. I will finish there for the petals for now and then I'll use my really tiny basic gray. That's how much we have or we I have used it, shall I say. No, I dropped it a few times and then um because I was I wasn't very <laughs> careful with it and it just went over the edge and then when I sharpened it it just kept breaking so just be careful with your coloring pencil and um, yeah don't let it drop <laughs> I was just like oh no so I'm just doing the edge around the edges and then um, you could either do the middle bit as well. But... Ooh. So that's the basic gray, but if I'll see what it looks like with a normal H, I'm sure that's HB. Yeah, that's just a normal HB pencil. And because it's so um, sharp, you can just do short first. That's a little bit darker. We do have the black. Let's see the black. I'm just experimenting. I hope you don't mind. Let's see the black in here. Okay, that's that is quite. I think that's too dark. Ah, uh, if you make a mistake, use uh, rubber. As long as you haven't, kind of like, pressed too hard. That will lift the coloring pencil so the black on there was li lifted off um, yeah I'll continue with the basic gray I was I was right the first time is it going funky is it Even though it's spring flowers or it's quite a neutral card because of the gray granite and it's a warm gray as well but by adding the smoky slate on it that just brings it out a bit more how are you doing Larry? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Take my time. <laughs> Take your time. Yes. So our um what else happened? Oh yes, our online our first ever online class. The booking has closed for the card kit and the products, but you do have um a couple more two more weeks. No, just under two weeks to um to sign up for the live demonstration and you get the PDF as well so you can craft along but obviously after that you can still buy the the PDF and then just watch the replay so we'll make that available on our blog hopefully with the rest of the tutorials that's available on our um, website with the stamping glam squad so I I know I didn't like Calypso Coral in the middle. Shall we do pink? Ooh, pink. Shall we do hints of pink? Or yellow? Is it yellow? I'll go yellow and pink. Indecisive. Barry was just like, just make up your mind. Oh, that's like me. No, earlier. I didn't say just now. So I am adding up a, a, a lot. You can't really see me, can you? Hi, Bear. Thank you for joining us. So that is Daffodil Delight. 
and then I'm gonna lightly add melon mambo. <gasps> That's nice. So I'm just doing short flicks starting from the center and then I'll probably blend that out with the uh, whisper white. What else is the middle? That looks all right. I really did the, the daisy because I did a daisy card with, I think, it's kind of like the same technique using the whisper, not the whisper, white, the white stamping choke marker and then coloring that as well um, and that was really quite cool but I thought oh I haven't done the magnolia I'll do the magnolia and seeing as I've done the a magnolia card the other day I'm just gonna do that oh I think I went a bit over there but let's see So I think Barra's playing around with the. Are you playing? Are you playing around with the in colors? I am. Yes. Okay. So the twenty eighteen to twenty twenty in colors. Because they will be retiring soon. And we're actually gonna be able to see the new annual catalog in. Week. Ooh, next Wednesday week. or Tuesday of next week. Yes. Next Wednesday, so that's a, a great perk for demonstrators. So if you would if you love Stampin' Up products, why not join Stampin' Up? Join our Stampers team and then get more savings for your craft supplies in the future. And joining the fun. There we go. So I'm just using the white to blend those out. And I have colored all of the petals. <laughs> Barra's like, are you gonna do that? And I was just like... Earlier, it's like, it's taking ages. But oh well. Go. I'm nearly done, Barry. Are you really? Yes. Hold on, hold. <laughs> well, colouring that is. I have I haven't done my card. There we go. How's that looking? I'm just gonna spread out the daffodil 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 light. What color? Daffodil delight. Oh yeah, <laughs> so then I won't see much of those grey granite stamped image. And there we go. Cool. And I'm just gonna finish up the leaf here at the bottom and instead of obviously because it's not that close to the flower i'm actually just following 
the shadows that was created by the or the shadow lines from the actual stamp Go. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and just go in with pencil. Second generation. Or with the flower, the leaves. Yeah, try it. Barrett just showed me his. <laughs> that was just. <laughs> well, you heard me. Um, well, try I don't it. like it. It's lovely. Try the second generation. It'll be even better. No. <laughs> Good. So you can do crisscross as well. He's left me. He's feeding the cat. Just put you up on the big screen while I'm at my desk creating Mother's Day cards. Ah, I hope you have the sound <laughs> lower. <laughs> yeah, go back to small screen when we show our face later. <laughs> we don't want to scare you. <laughs> so I guess. I, what I do like about gray, stamping on gray granite as well, it looks like pencil marks. I don't know if that's the same for you guys. Um, I've noticed that before in one of the one of my earlier, earlier projects as well. I just really like how it looks. It's not as harsh as Memento um, as well, so it just gives a different feel to your card. And you could say, yeah, I drew that. <laughs> well, you made it. There we go. So that is my card. Did I do that? And I'm just gonna add So you can add with your Stampin' Chalk marker a couple of highlights on the actual middle pollen. What's it called? Middle bit? <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, <laughs> maybe that's too much. I don't know what they look like. It it had like bumpy like that on the stamp, but. I guess if you, let's see on here, if you do it on the side, you can have like bumpy. No, I don't like that. Yeah, that looks alright. I'll, I'll just cover that. <laughs> I'm gonna run that through with the subtle embossing folder, um, or Barry will. Do you want to, yeah, run that? Yeah, Barry, she's, sorry, thank you. Have you got the subtle embossing folder over there? No. And I'm just gonna create some, we had this, I, I think this is thick. Baker's twine. I, it might be discontinued, but you can use your flax ribbon as well. But because it's thick, you can un 
gravel in and you have at least three strands there as well no that's fine yeah so uh, I'm gonna use that and show you how I actually did that bit so there is tassels available on the catalog in the mini catalog which is the best dress tassels but with the loop so I guess I could have done that I don't know why I'm saving it but it's quite nice with the metallic thing oh thank you so this is the subtle embossing so again it just adds hints of um hi anna hi sarah hi wendy hints on there so again it creates an another layer of interest on your card so the way that i add whatchamacallit ribbons or twine is i don't actually especially with ribbons i don't glue i don't add any tear and tape at the front i add it at the back so obviously try and see where you're gonna have it <coughs> completely off <laughs> okay yeah that's fine And then um, I stick one side of the twine and then pull it out on one side. So how did I? I don't really know. Okay, I will cut that off. because I want to. so I'm gonna go there and then I'm just gonna make sure to straighten it up yeah because it's thick actually I don't like it thick I'm gonna take one off yeehaw <laughs> Was he cheering for my card? Yes. For the um there you go. Right, I took off one strand and it is sl slightly thinner. And you can even do so the nature's twine is the same. So that one comes in mint macaron, grapefruit grove, witch russell berry and What's that one? Something. It's four anyway in a pack. Uh, but you can normally just do that. How's it going, Barry? Yeah. And then it doesn't add too much bulk on, on the back as well when you add, when you put it in. Hi Gloria! There you go. In that one and then that one. All right, I'm gonna add this on to here. Ooh, I can I can give you another tip with your coloring pencil in a second. So um. Because it's water soluble, water based, whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, you can use it to create splatters as well. So you, you can splatter with your blends, I know, um, but to kind of like keep it the same, or you can use your. You, I'll see if it works. I haven't actually tried it. We'll see. So with that one, and then. 
this one I'm just gonna cut it in half and then that can be how did I do it I did it this way so but before we do that will it actually work let's see so I did pink you can use a painter so if you just it's probably better with in a more thicker card so color it so that's that's not how I did it I'm just experimenting now so <laughs> let's see will you work is there water in there? No. Fingers crossed it works. Let's have a look. There you go. So you can add color using your watercolor pencils. How cool. Mm. Maybe I'll use a block. <laughs> I think a bit more color there. So that's one way of coloring tassels. It's not as vibrant. What is happening? But at least that's another way to use your coloring pencil. Maybe wait for that to dry, but I'm just going to add it on. There we go. Nope. So from there to here. So top to bottom. And just loop it down. How's it going, Barry? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see it properly. Oh well, that's gone funky. Meh. Hi Lola, how are you? Right, let's try that again. There. This is all gonna be wonky now. But you get the idea. And then you can make it fuller if you want, but that's quite long, isn't it? I'm going to cut that. At least it still have a hint of the pink melon mambo on there. I guess you can go in and Do it that way and add a bit more color. Let's see. And that was pretty much the, uh, my other idea of doing the splatter. So using the black instead of instead. But that's not wet. Yay! So I'll just let that dry. So with... You alright? Yeah. Just lost a bit of card. What card? I'll cut it, but I don't want to fix it. Oh, thank you, Vicky. That one? No. A bit of gorgeous grape. Down there? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And 
うい,いあいやいやいやいや<笑> so yeah so different ways to use your watercolor pencil and then just tap it found it and be it won't be as dark as a memento um, because of the amount of water oh look I'm splattering everywhere <laughs> but it's just quite cool if if you um, don't have any other things you can just do that that's fine um, and then once that's dry you can separate that again there we go and I'm just gonna add some pearls or jewels I guess I'll yeah I'll, I'll use silver metallic to go so it's not too overpowering I guess let's see the gold might be nice oh that's what we need Barry gold gold metallic pearls um, we, we did um, a quick order last night and just did what do we need? Normally we we write a list, but we were kind of like we were ordering for the class, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, that's quite big, isn't it? I'm gonna hide that big. <laughs> there you go. It was too big. And then, oh, sentiment. I didn't do any sentiment at all. Right, gray granite. And I'm just gonna do so the same thing. Hello. So this one, let's see if it'll work. I forgot the sentiment. It's too big. That one was die cut with uh, one of the dice from Magnolia Memory Dice. But I'm probably not going to use that. But I'll stamp on it because that's the only Whisper White I have at the moment. I will just do hello. Are you ready? Well, I well ish. I don't know what I'm doing really. But. You'll be fine. So grey granite. Just wanted to check. And then I'm just gonna cut that. Straight enough. And sometimes I like to use the word, like how it's slanted. I kind of like use that as a guide on how to slant my snipping. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh no, that's wonky. Oh well, you get the idea. There you go. That is so wonky, isn't it? Look at it. No, I'm gonna have it straight. It's like a shouting. Hello! <laughs> because it's got <laughs> Why not? Um dimensionals.
I'm nearly done and bar I can crack on this card. Yes, you can hear the bird outside, can't you? <laughs> you can hear it tweeting away. I can hear the birds. Different song. Okay, I'm gonna move my pearl. And because that thing is just like looped in, I can actually move that where I want it to go. <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> Paris look every like what are you doing? There you go. Is that on the thing? Okay. Not a good idea to place it on the actual thing. Yeah. Pretty. Hello. Yeah, that is quite long still. There we go. So I'll leave it there. But you can use your chalk marker, as I said, um, to highlight some areas of your colored image like in here so if you want it really light it just adds it a bit more in those areas and you get the brush marks as well cool so that is my card um and the table's a mess <laughs> Good luck, Barry. <laughs> He's looking at me like, whoa. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that and got a bit of um, tips with the coloring watercolor pencils and try, try them out yourselves. Yes. Okay, so. Just give us a second whilst Jay creates some room for me. Uh, maybe five. No, I'm kidding. I'll just spread it out. How's everyone? Hi, Linda. Hi, Alison. <laughs> I know that's what he said that earlier. He was like, uh, I hinted that's like, remember what he said? I know. Just thought I wasn't ready. So, um, where's my stamp set, which I'm using? I don't know where I put it. What are you using? The Colourful Seasons one. Here. Is it there? That's cool. On the floor. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Colourful Seasons one. So, we're kind of going back to an old one, which is in the, in the catalogue. So, we're... Just looking for some nice inspiration with what we've got. And because we're focusing on like spring florals, this is obviously a good general all round stamp set. It's got great, it's got winter in it as well. And you've got your leaves, so you can have your autumn, but depending on how you color them, you can have your spring or summer. So it's, it's a really good all year round stamp set, this one. So this is what I've decided to play with. Just need some room. There we go. So I've already um, pre-cut some stuff on this, just to, because um, I'm aware that time is cracking on. How long is that? I'm not sure. What time is it now? 49 minutes. 49 not minutes. Bad. Okay. So I've already gone ahead and I've gone and pre-cut some stuff. So one of the things with this stamp set, because it comes with coordinating dies as well, is it's got some... 
So I've already created my card base. So I actually cut this at 14.5 um, by 21, scored it at 10 and a half. And what I've done here is on the dies which coordinate with this set, it's got this edge. So I've used this edge here to kind of take off this part right here. So I've, I've brought it in about an inch from the outside. So if I do it that side, so I've, I've done it, so I brought it in around about an inch, just over an inch like this, run it through the machine, and then it's created this nice scalloped edge. Okay, I've then run it through the embossing machine again, and I've used the Subtles embossing folder, the same one as what Jay used to create a little bit of texture on this background right here. So I've already done that part for you. And I've taken this edge as well, and I've used Grapefruit Grove, and I've just cut a little strip out like this. So this again, this is 14.5 by around about an inch thickness. And I've used this scalloped edge here just to create this little banner. And that is gonna, so I'm gonna stick that in here to create a lip, all right? So I'm just going to pop some glue, he says. If you don't want to get empty or glued up, yeah, let's grab another one. I hope all glued up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pop some glue along that strip right there. So, and I'm going to come in a little bit up the top here because this isn't going to get stuck down. So I only want like a little bit to show I show up. More fingers and thumbs, there we go. So I'm just going to pop that in and just stick that down like so. So I've now positioned it so it's equal side. When I die cut it, I was very aware of where the, the positioning on the end and when I die cut the front, the front cut, I was aware of the positioning. So just be aware of it, because if you don't cut it exactly the same or very close to it, it's gonna, obviously it's not gonna match up. So just think about that when you're actually doing, if you do something like this, how you're die cutting one, try and die cut your second piece much about the same or as close as possible, or start off with a bigger piece to then be able to then cut it down, will be, um, will be, because it is, it does extend a little bit more, but we haven't got much to play with. All right, so that's my card like that, which has got a scalloped edge in it. So I'm going to play with a little bit of a technique which is using the daubers again here and with some of the flowers which come with this stamp set because the flowers which come with this are solid. So they're solid shapes. So we're going to, we're going to create a little bit of a fun technique with these just to, just to show them off a little bit. So as Jay said, I'm going to be using the ink colours which are going to be leaving and retiring us very soon so if you'd like these now's the time to grab hold of them and um, get your reinkers if the reinkers are available i'm not sure i'd have to double check on that but um if you've got them get some reinkers so i've got myself some call me clover i've got lovely lipstick and i have got pineapple punch so we're going to go with the pineapple punch first and i'm going to take one of the larger flowers and i'm going to ink this up in a pineapple punch. Okay, so I'm doing a solid layer with one colour. Take out my lovely lipstick and I'm going to grab a dauber, okay, and I'm going to pick up some ink in the red and I'm going to use this now to, if I show you what it's like first, if I do it on its own, just so you can see it, that's it as it is solid. So we will Okay. Ink that up again, pick up some lovely lipstick and then we'll just use this and we're kind of like just going to just gently transfer some of that ink onto the edge of the stamp and then we will then stamp that down like so and then you can see the difference which we get. Um, with that so you can like you create you can create some really cool effects with this one here so because the 
pineapple punch is a really light color. I'm gonna just go in and just clean my stamp and then ink this up again. And then I'm just gonna do it again. So I'm gonna grab that. But this time I'll maybe just come in a little bit further with the red so we get a slightly different gradient. So we have more, more red, less yellow showing through. So it's all trial and error. So we have a different, um, a different variation there. So I'm gonna do that on a couple of the flowers and then Jay will kind of die cut them out for me. Sure. <laughs> and they do come with the center parts as well. So there's three different flowers which you've got on here. So I'm gonna do these all in the yellows. And just kiss the edges. like so and we'll do the third one so we do that yellow as well So you can see we've got some different, so the more, I've only gone on two sides there. So it, you kind of create a different, um, different shades. Okay, they also do come with the center parts as well. So I, what I've done here is I've laid them all out on a block. So that center part matches that flower, that center, that one, that one, that one there. Um, just as a little tip on the, what I found was sometimes with the stamp sets and the on the pictures on the front, if you're wondering what one goes with what, I always find that they always try and put the, if it's a two, if it's a two step stamping one, they always try and put the second one close to it. So it'll, so that one goes with that one, that one with that one, that one with that one there. So it kind of like gives you as a little tip there, use that as a guide and think stuff, right, that one matches in. So they don't just randomly put them all over this. They do strategically place them on here so you know that one matches that branch right there. Um, that one matches is the inside of this one here. So just think about it. that one matches that one there. So just think about it. So they do they do actually help you out. If you're going, what one, what stamp works with what? Look at the box because they do stick them together. All right, so I'm gonna grab that one there. And I'm gonna do these in black. So that is that one. And I'm just gonna then stick the the stamens on the inside, like so. And we'll do that one. Like that. And I'll just do the larger one on the other one. Why are these colours going away? Um, why are these colours going What they've, they've been in the catalogue for two years and what Stampin' Up! do, um, Linda, is they, they bring out in colours, so popular colours, and they last for two years in the catalogue, and then they bring out a new set. So every year you get a new set of five colours. They stay for two years, and so each year you get something else. So these are the colours from two years ago and then they get re replenished and replaced for something new something new and current again so you always get every you get a refresh of colors every couple of um every year so that's why they stay and go so it's getting a bit noisy out there so you can see what we've got here i've done some earlier on which has been cut up and i've also cut the done the leaves in green as well so you've all got the individual dyes which match all of these so i'll just show you with the leaf quickly so we've got this one here so you use the call me clover now i can either do it as a first generation or as a second generation so i'm going to show you what a first one looks like and that there is what a second generation one looks like Okay, so if you want to tone, it's quite a strong colour is this green, so we, we can like 
tool itself, we will just tone it down so we can just create two tones of green by doing it like that. Joe, would you do me a favour? Would you um, just die cut these flowers here for me? I've got some to be working with over here. Oh, All right, so um, what I'm going to do here is I've also got myself. So I've grabbed myself some pineapple punch and I've used the Starburst um, punch to do this here. And I've already gone ahead and I've already, like I say, I've already pre-cut a lot of this stuff and stamped it. So because it's just to save on time. And this is using the scalloped, the scalloped stitched dies. Okay, so that's just going to create a little bit like so. Scallop, I said scallop stitch dies, didn't I? It's not the scallop, it's I, the no, stitch shape. Stitched shapes dies, sorry. Jay's, oh, look, like Jay's looking at me going, well, is, 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 is there a new thing, which I don't know about. I'm just making up stamping up products now. So it's, it's a, I can't, I can't, I'm getting my problems with my S's and my H's tonight. Uh -huh. It's the stitched shape dies, which I've done that one there, and a starburst punch, which I've used to create that one right there. All right. So that's going to go in like that. So I'm going to grab myself some glue again and I'm going to stick this. To the front here. That's the one. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And I'm just going to stick some dimensionals on this. So I'm going to have it so that it's overlapping ever so slightly. So I'm not going to put any pop any dimensionals too much on this side here because it will stick to the back. So that's going to go. Stick that down like so, down the bottom down here. I can have it at the top. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna try something. Okay, so that's where that's gonna go. And then with these little bits, which I've which Jay has kindly die cut out for me, we can then strategically place these around so we can have some which are going to go in like this and around. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a play around with where do I want them to go first. Maybe that darker one. I quite like that, so that's going to go over like that. I quite like that there, so I'm going to now just stick a little bit of glue behind on the stem. And because it's going to go down on the actual card as well, we can stick it there as well. But I'm very conscious that I don't, I don't like to put too much glue up the top here because I, because I, I slide it in. So as I slide it in, if I need to, if the glue smudges, then it's not going to then smudge out onto the too much. So I tend to put the glue down here to allow me to then slide in, so which will then slide up to the top part. Does that? I think in my head that makes complete and utter sense. But if I put the glue directly at the top there and then slide it in, then that glue potentially is then going to then smudge outside of it. So again, it's just little things just like that. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the actual card here. And that can go in that like that. Okay, same thing down the bottom down here. So 
So I'll put the glue in the middle and a little bit on the stem. Hi Liz! And that's going to then slide in. Like that. And I like it a little bit hanging off the side here as well. So I did quite a few, but I'll see. I think I'm only going to go. I'm going to stick with. Um, I'll see as the rule. Try and stick with odd numbers. So that leaves me with five elements on my card, <clears throat> which I think is a bit more appealing to the eye. So, so I'm told anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is more appealing to the eye because your eye, it's, I think it gets, yeah, it You does. do you, Barry. I do me. Now I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to, this is me. And that's going to go on like so. Uh, we can watch that again. What? The Greedy Shores. <laughs> so that's that there. All right, I'm actually going to leave that. And what I could do, because I want to, again, I want to just add a really little bit of, um, a little bit of texture round here. Still in bed watching. Is it not nice and early with you? You're allowed to be in bed, so that's fine. <laughs> Gwen Costello, and I'm going to just grab myself a block. And we were just splat. So he says, I just need to get it going. This is if I picked the one which is empty. No, there's there is stuff in there. Good. So, by me doing it, you can just see, I can kind of get the camera to shimmer there. Yeah, it'll probably sharp, but that's what that's done is that's created a little bit of a shimmer and some just some more interest on that actual card there as well. Um, I'm not going to go any more on the Wink of Stella on that one there because I don't want to overdo it. But I think I'm actually going to stay right there. I'm going to keep it really, really simple, this one. Um, obviously, there's lots of flowers which are being cut which is right here. So I've got all of these, which obviously I've done some before I come on camera and then I've done some um, some off camera so you didn't have to see me wait too long. But there we go. So I can actually, you can probably do some more. You can put so you can, all sorts. You can probably create a little cluster down here if I really wanted to, maybe. I don't know, does that look with another I like that. I don't know if it works down there. I'm just going to yes, apply. It does. does it? Lovely. Are you being maybe just being sarcastic? No. <laughs> maybe not three. Two. And then just have it floating, not crumple together. So, how does that look down the bottom down there? Do we agree? Like that, just to add a little bit more. Yeah, let's go down there. Joe's gonna come over and go, no, don't do that. And I'm gonna stick it down, it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down naked. It looks lovely. See, I should have just stopped. Why? I should have stopped, because I'm now gonna ruin it. No, 
we go. I'm going to stop there. He says, putting another one on. No, we stop. That's where it's going to go. So it just adds another little bit down, another little bit of floral element down the bottom down here. Because obviously I'm aware that there's quite a lot of white space, so see, it's just it just adds adds another little bit more. No, you don't always have to fill it. Um, Which is my problem. <laughs> so there we go. There is my card. So Joe's going to come over. Oh, am I? And we will finish up. See, now the thing is though, when I'm off camera, when Jay's doing the thing, I normally come around tidy things up so that we can then get ready for the next part. All Jay does is he goes back and carries in colour in, so he's actually got no seat to come and sit down on. Uh, <laughs> well, I thought you, I didn't want to move stuff that you need, like what you would normally do to me. <laughs> so I thought I would just leave you. So let's flip you round. And there. Oh, got to go. Another games night of taboo. Oh, another games night. Have fun. Hope you win. <laughs> <laughs> I like so, that. <laughs> oh, no. I know. It's, it's a nightmare to play games with. So there we go. One. And two. And two. Oh. I just um, continued with that one as well. I don't know if you could see that I used the uh, chalk marker to colour it in. So that pops out a bit more. So I'll just put that on a, another card um, so that one's slightly subtler um, but yes you done really well <laughs> I'm so surprised I know you are I'm kidding mm -hmm. no it's lovely is that second generation yeah ish <clears throat> yeah. yeah much better all Ooh. right so there we go so that's good so um, remember to follow us like us um, if you haven't done so already um, if you like anything you see, you can purchase these from our online shop. Obviously, remember, like we mentioned, the in colours. So there is another two more. There's Blueberry Bushel and there is Grapefruit Grove. So there's five colours which will be leaving us um, we gonna get? in June. So June so the 2nd or 3rd, they will be leaving us. So, um, yeah, if you like them, grab them soon. All oh. right. Thanks okay. again. Oh, are we gonna have a, are we gonna oh, have mini. a we're gonna have a mini appearance. Oh, you never come You've up. Never come up with it. This is Mini. She is so tiny. There you go. Oh. Okay. So this is this is our little Mini. She doesn't normally come on camera, but she's no, um she's, she's decided. Yeah, somewhere. she is. Tommy's um disappeared. So there we go. Hello. Oh. She's obviously wanting some attention. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Yes, thank we will you. see you again on Sunday evening about seven o'clock. Um, have a good evening, have a good afternoon, good day, whatever time it is with you. Thank you very much. Look, somebody saying hello. hello to you. Hello. Meow, meow. <laughs> good. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you thank soon. You. Bye bye. Bye. bye.